Did you know there is a rebel moon in our solar system? In the vast expanse of our solar system, a mysterious wonder awaits discovery. Neptune's enigmatic moon, Triton. A celestial body is cloaked in darkness and holds secrets that defy our understanding. While most moons in the solar system orbit closer in the same direction as their parent planet, Triton, unlike most large moons in the solar system, travels in the opposite direction. This unusual path, along with its elliptical shape and tilted inclination, challenges space norms, making it a rebel moon among its companions. What do you think was the reason for this unique behavior of Triton? One leading theory was that Triton could possibly be a captured Kuiper Belt object, naturally pulled by Neptune's gravitational force, which explains why it orbits in a different direction. Triton's surface is covered in ice and the occasional cryovolcano, which erupts gases and volatile materials such as liquid water, ammonia, and hydrocarbons. Lit by bursts of cryolava, the landscape is a surreal scene. But what lies beneath? Some theorize that there may be an ocean, possibly hiding extraterrestrial life. Join us as we explore Triton, unraveling its secrets and venturing into the unknown depths of our solar system. Neptune is a distant gas giant with a dark, cold, frigid atmosphere and supersonic winds, making it one of the most turbulent planets in our solar system. Discovered through mathematical calculations, Neptune owes its name to the Roman god of the sea, as suggested by Urban Le Verrier, French astronomer and mathematician. Fun fact, it completed its first 165-year orbit in 2011, when Verrier discovered it on September 23, 1846. This ice giant is the eighth planet from the Sun, situated an average of 2.8 billion miles or 4.5 billion kilometers from the Sun, Neptune is 30 astronomical units away. For context, an astronomical unit, AU, is the distance from the Sun to Earth, meaning sunlight takes approximately four hours to reach Neptune from its distant orbit. Considered the fourth largest planet in our solar system, with an equatorial diameter of 30,775 miles or 49,528 kilometers, Neptune dwarfs Earth, being about four times wider. On top of that, Neptune has a mass 17 times that of Earth. To put it into perspective, if Earth were the size of a nickel, Neptune would be as large and as massive as a baseball. Neptune boasts 16 known moons named after minor water deities and nymphs from Greek mythology. The discovery process has spanned centuries, with Triton being the first identified in 1846. Nerid followed in 1949, and Voyager 2's flyby in 1989 revealed several more, including Proteus, Neptune's second largest moon. Recent discoveries of Neptune's moons S20, O2N2, named Sao, S20, O2N4, called Nesso, and S20, O4N1, later named Hippocamp, date back to 2002 and 2013, respectively. Neptune's other moons include Naiad, Thalassa, Despina, Galatea, Larissa, Halimede, Laomedea, and Samothy. Neptune's moons can be categorized into regular and irregular groups based on their orbits. Regular moons follow circular prograde orbits along Neptune's equatorial plane, while irregular moons have inclined, eccentric, and often retrograde orbits. The inner moons, like Naiad and Thalassa, are closely associated with Neptune's rings, orbiting between the Gal and Le Verrier rings. The most recent image of Neptune and its moons, captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, shows seven of Neptune's 14 known moons, Galatea, Naiad, Thalassa, Despina, Proteus, Larissa, and Triton. Of particular interest is Triton, Neptune's largest and most distinctive moon, 
which stands out as a bright point in the image. Triton displays the characteristic diffraction spikes, or lines that radiate from bright light sources, creating the starburst or sun star effect in photos commonly seen in Webb's images. Triton, named after the son of the Greek god Poseidon, equivalent to the Roman Neptune, was discovered on October 10, 1846, by British astronomer William Lassell, just 17 days after Neptune itself was discovered and was initially known simply as the Satellite of Neptune until the discovery of Nered in 1949. The Voyager 2 spacecraft captured an image of Neptune and its largest moon, Triton, on July 3, 1989, from a distance of 47 million miles or 76 million kilometers. Triton, situated in the lower right corner of the image, was barely noticeable, with a radius estimated between 870 and 1,118 miles, or 1,400 and 1,800 kilometers. The image showed Triton's surface as bright as freshly fallen snow. Although some features on Triton's surface were not discernible then, scientists believed it may have a small atmosphere composed of methane and other gases. Voyager's closest approach to Triton on August 25, 1989, was expected to provide higher resolution views, potentially revealing the presence of clouds in Triton's atmosphere. Triton, Neptune's largest moon, is slightly smaller than Earth's moon, with a diameter of 1,680 miles or 2,700 kilometers, while our moon has a diameter of about 2,159 miles or 3,474.8 kilometers. Similar to our moon, Triton's rotation is also tidally locked to be synchronous with its orbit around Neptune meaning it keeps one face oriented toward the planet at all times. Its equator is almost exactly aligned with its orbital plane. At present, Triton's rotational axis is about 40 degree from Neptune's orbital plane. Hence, as Neptune orbits the Sun, Triton's polar regions take turns facing the Sun, resulting in seasonal changes as one pole, then the other moves into the sunlight. So what makes Triton a rebel moon, or an oddball moon? Triton has a unique orbit opposite Neptune's rotation, making it the only large moon in the solar system with a retrograde orbit. This is unusual because most moons in the solar system orbit their planets in the same direction as the planet's rotation. Triton's retrograde orbit suggests it may have originated as an independent object captured by Neptune's gravity. Scientists believe that Triton was once a dwarf planet like Pluto or a large Kuiper belt object captured by Neptune's gravity and became its largest moon. The Kuiper belt is a region of space in the outer solar system, extending from Neptune's orbit at about 30 astronomical units, AU, to approximately 50 astronomical units from the Sun. It is a donut-shaped region of icy bodies, including dwarf planets, comets, and other small celestial objects. The belt is also home to several large planet-like bodies, like Pluto, which is now recognized as the largest in a population of known Kuiper belt objects. Triton is only slightly larger than Pluto and is nearly identical in composition, which has led to the hypothesis that the two share a common origin. Triton, about 2.793 million miles or 4.495 million kilometers from the Sun, experiences frigid temperatures averaging around negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 204 Celsius. Triton's surface is mainly covered in frost and is one of the coldest objects in the solar system, reflecting 70% of sunlight. Triton's thin atmosphere, primarily nitrogen with traces of methane, likely results from volcanic activity driven by seasonal solar heating. Despite its distance, Triton's surface shows signs of ongoing geological activity with minor impact craters, terrain features, grand ridges, 
valleys and dark stripes, indicating a recovery process unlike what would be expected from conventional impact cratering. Scientists propose the presence of a subsurface ocean as a potential explanation. However, the existence of an ocean on Triton remains uncertain, leading to various hypotheses about the origin of Triton's young surface. One theory proposes that Triton's internal heat melts nitrogen ice pockets, causing eruptions. Another suggests that cryovolcanoes may draw from water reservoirs within the crust. These ideas draw parallels from observed cryovolcanic activity on moons like Europa and Enceladus, where liquid reservoirs fuel eruptions. Cryovolcanism is a geological phenomenon that occurs when frozen water or other aqueous solutions erupt as liquid or vapor phases on icy celestial bodies. Internal heat sources like tidal heating or radioactive decay drive this process. Moons such as Europa, Titan, Triton, and Enceladus exhibit cryovolcanic activity in our solar system, and evidence of this activity on Ceres remains uncertain despite ongoing research. Cryovolcanic features on these bodies can take various forms, such as smooth plains, domes, pits, and vents. For context, Triton has a massive caldera called Leviathan Patera, surrounded by Tsipango Planum, a vast cryovolcanic plain spanning over 189,190 square miles or 490,000 square kilometers and linked to two large cryolava lakes. This feature is believed to result from resurgent volcanism with the caldera surrounded by flat topographies that are possibly lava flow fields. Evidence of cryovolcanism includes plumes seen on Enceladus and Europa, along with surface characteristics like domes and vents. Fluctuations in water vapor levels from cryovolcanic emissions may aid detection, showing abnormal reflectance features or higher albedo in a planet's spectrum. The presence of water on Triton raises the possibility of life, with geysers ejecting subsurface nitrogen and dark cryovolcanic plumes suggesting carbon-rich materials. Speculations on Triton's ocean composition suggest a mix influenced by volatile comets, potentially containing ammonium, sodium chloride, and oxygen, although determining its exact composition remains challenging. Despite Triton's nitrogen-rich atmosphere, its low temperatures make it inhospitable for complex life due to limited heat retention caused by the thin atmosphere. However, with summers spanning 40 Earth years, Triton's seasonal changes have intrigued scientists. Recent observations indicate a slight temperature rise during Triton's summer, suggesting potential signs of global warming. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, is predicted to eventually collide with the planet and form a new ring around it in a cataclysmic collision. Based on the unusual orbits of Triton and Neptune's other moon, Nereid. Analyzed by Caltech graduate student Thomas McCord in the late 1970s. His analysis revealed that Triton's orbit is decaying and will eventually cross Neptune's Roche limit, destroying and forming a new ring system around Neptune. The exact timeline for this collision is unknown, but it is estimated to occur within the next few billion years. This collision is significant because it could provide essential insights into the formation and evolution of Neptune's satellite system and the behavior of icy bodies in general. Trident is a proposed mission to explore Triton, the largest moon of Neptune, which is believed to harbor an ocean beneath its icy surface potentially. Competing for selection under NASA's discovery program, Trident seeks to investigate Triton's habitability, uncharted terrains, and surface renewal processes. The mission plans to approach Triton within three 11 miles or 500 kilometers of its surface, sampling its ionosphere and conducting magnetic induction measurements to assess the presence of an ocean. The mission's instruments include an infrared spectrometer for compositional mapping, 
a narrow-angle camera for regional mapping, a wide-angle camera for imaging and change detection, a triaxial magnetometer for ocean detection, radio science equipment for atmospheric observations, and a plasma spectrometer for studying atmospheric charged particles. Led by Louise Proctor, director of the Lunar and Planetary Institute in Houston, Texas, Trident aims for a proposed launch in October 2025, utilizing the Atlas 5401 launch vehicle. It plans to leverage a unique alignment of Earth and Jupiter's orbits to reach Triton for an extended 13-day encounter. Initially proposed in 2019, Trident was one of the four discovery mission concepts selected for further study in 2020. However, it was not chosen for flight in favor of other missions, including Da Vinci Plus and Veritas, which NASA selected for their Venus exploration efforts. As we inch closer to answers, Triton stands poised to disclose its mysteries and perhaps offer insights into the age-old question. Are we alone in the universe? Triton, a world of icy secrets, leaves us with more questions than answers. Its hidden ocean and potential for life beckon us to explore further. Take your chance to be part of something extraordinary. Like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification bell for more space exploration content. Until next time.